and that kind of is reflected in the songs. I right. Think. It didn't really start out as a concept. It did not. Either. No, it, just, it did not. Kind of well, evolved I mean, that way. You guys had you guys had uh, had mentioned in, in you know in, in the uh, in the pamphlet that you sent us that it, it kind of goes through a progression, the evolution of uh, of the feelings of the band and, and how things got rolling. And you guys, I, I've been in a couple bands myself, and I know how hard it is to find a group of guys. And you guys are a five piece, so I know how hard it is to find a group of guys who can come together in one you know, make decisions without ripping each other's heads off right. <laughs> because a lot of different personalities come into play. And then again, how you guys can get together, get your talents to, to all mesh together and come up with an album. And I gotta say, you know, the, the single that we're playing on the radio always is a fantastic song. Thank and you. Uh, the ones that I heard on MySpace are, are just as good. So really uh, how'd that. you guys kind of get together? Well, it goes back about three and a half years. Um, I grew up with our bass player, Drew Phillips, okay. in, in Zanesville, Ohio. Um, Drew was in a band with my brother back way back in the day when they were in high school together. Um, and it so turns out that Drew moved to Cincinnati and met Mark, and they began playing together. And then they brought in Greg and actually got a record deal. I don't know, Mark, if you want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, we got a record deal with uh, TVT. The band was Pay the Girl. Um, and that's how we met Greg, got Greg in the band. Greg got in the band for two weeks, and uh, he got a record deal, so it took us two years. <laughs> it was easy for me. Pretty <laughs> lucky, up. yeah. And uh, did some touring. We toured with Shakira for a couple months. Cool. And, uh, and she, she won't quit calling me. She's still stopping. <laughs> it's just it's kind of She's annoying persistent. at this point. <laughs> but, you know, Her hips don't lie. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, you know, we moved on from that, and just one thing led to another, and and uh, we met Aaron, and I just thought he had an outstanding voice, and, and he needs to make me millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, man, if you guys keep coming up with stuff that you guys got right now, man, this is really good stuff. I mean, I was Thank really you. impressed. And you guys got a couple shows coming up. You, you're playing at uh, Frog Bear and Wild Boar in Columbus. That's down in the Arena District. Correct. A very cool place right next to Nationwide. Exactly. And you're going to be there tomorrow night and then Saturday night, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to be, yeah. be there both nights. We're going to do some original stuff and, and a lot of... A lot of uh, radio-friendly covers as well, just to mix it up a little bit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, sh both shows start at 10. Okay. And we play till the bar closes both nights. And then a big show coming up on February 20th, and that's uh, one of my favorite places to go. Actually, the first place I ever went to see a rock show, yes. the Newport Music Hall in Columbus. Exactly. That's a good one. Really excited about that. Who did that you show. see? What's that? Who did you see there? I, the first show I saw, I think, was the Toadies. Oh, wow. I see the Toadies wow. in Newport, yeah. yeah. And uh, I was underage, but I did have a cousin along with me that was 21, so she was feeding me whiskey beer. sour. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I left there a little foggier than I arrived, exactly. but it was good. It was good. So that should be a good show, man. And, and have you guys played in Newport before? Is this the first time? We have, yes. A few years ago. Yeah, we played there. Well, the, before Greg and Mark joined the band, um, I, we... Introspect. There was another version of Introspect, and we played it several times. We had our C our last CD release there. Okay. Um, but then we were lucky enough to add these guys, um, and and we played there once two years ago, and and then basically since then we've been working on this album, and we haven't had, we didn't want to play original music without having the album done. So right now we're we're finished and uh, we're ready to ready to rock, so to speak. So so did you guys record did you record the album in Columbus and then it was mixed down in Seattle, right? Yeah, we recorded with Joe Veers at Sonic Lounge Studios in Columbus, okay. fantastic studio. And then we flew out to Seattle to work with Jeff Ott, um, who Mark and, and Drew and Greg work with with Pay the Girl. And, and he has some big names under his belt as uh, well. You, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> yeah, Three Doors Down, Nickelback, uh, Way Allison Back When, Blind Melon, yeah. Alice in Chains. So awesome. He's worked with some big guys for sure, um, and he's a cool guy. And we yeah, we, we fed him enough we fed him enough whiskey to, for him to want to work with us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, whiskey can do wonders for a lot of things. It can also cure a cold. I guess. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. We got to take a quick break. We'll come back, do some weather. We'll chat with you again, and uh, then we'll get to your single. How's that sound? Sounds awesome. good. Thank All right. You. Introspect live in the studio coming up next. Like I said, we're going to take a look at your forecast and more.